Well, I'm almost done shoveling all that snow that we had yesterday. Oh, I'll tell you, you know, that storm really just underproduced and it was a real tricky one to forecast. Of course, I was calling for two to three inches of snow and not a flake. Well, maybe a few, but nothing that accumulated in the Lehigh Valley. And I apologize, you win some, you lose some. One thing's for sure though, over the next couple of days, there's no precipitation in the forecast, so it's a pretty easy one. But speaking of the snow, I did want to update you on this because December, unfortunately, is looking like uh, a month that is not going to feature what was forecast. We're not going to see as much snow, and I do think that will return in January and February, though. However, I did nevertheless lower my expected snow for this season to 35 to 41 inches, so still above that normal of 34, but not quite as much as I originally thought. And this does also include that October snow. So about 30 inches, 30 to 35 inches of additional snow is what I expect. So not as much, but still enough. In terms of our other weather though, we've seen a dramatic drop in the temperature nonetheless. The breezes will slowly subside, and by slowly I mean later in the weekend. We got two more breezy days to go, but it will be sunny right through the period with temperatures that will also be on the chilly side. Right now they're just that. Temperatures across the state right now are in the 30s. Right now it's 37 in Allentown, 43 the lone 40 in Philadelphia, colder to the north and west, but all areas are going to be remaining on the chilly side right through the extended forecast. And there's a lot of cold across the country. Temperatures only in the teens and 20s for afternoon highs up in the northern plains. And of course, along the eastern seaboard, we're in the 40s and 50s, but a much uh, expected change from the 60s we were talking about on Monday and Tuesday. You know that can't last when it's December. Uh, but in any case, change in our weather has arrived. When you wake up tomorrow morning, though, it's going to be a cold start to the day. 25 in the Lehigh Valley, basically 20s everywhere. Teens in the Poconos, 31 in Philadelphia. So certainly a shock to the system when you wake up or during your day on Friday. Now, as we make our way over the next couple of days, you can see here there's no real big weather systems. Our storm is long gone, even out of New England. The next weather maker is a clipper, an Alberta clipper out here in the Midwest. This is actually going to shoot up and into southern Canada, so this will not be impacting our weather except for a few extra clouds, possibly during the day on Saturday. But no precipitation, no rain, no snow. Just cold is what we have in our future and some wind. Now, here's a look at the wind forecast. By tomorrow morning, negligible wind about two miles an hour is what's forecast here on the model. But during the afternoon, after the sun comes up and mixes up the atmosphere, the winds will come back. We'll be talking about winds into the afternoon back into the 14, 15 mile an hour area, and then they will continue as well into later on Saturday. Overnight tonight, though, we will be talking about clear skies, but it's going to be cold. 22 to 26 will be the range in temperature. Northwesterly winds about 6 to 12 and of course becoming light toward tomorrow morning. But by the afternoon, those winds will pick up again. It will be a sunny day though, but on the colder side, 41 to 47, but that's seasonable. We were just spoiled with the 60s. Here's a look at the exclusive Campus Weather Service five day forecast. We're talking about a very cold day Saturday. Burr, 37 will be the high, 22 overnight. Sunday still stuck in the 30s. Monday a little bit better at 42. And a bit better yet, Tuesday at 47 degrees. But certainly these temperatures are much more typical for this time of year. 60s in December, what's that? Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next week.